I am not ready for whatever this is. <laughs> What's up, agents? Zero here. Welcome back to some more Reverlight SMP. This is episode 5, if you remember. Last time, we were just basically going around the world, doing some minor things, looking at some stuff. We really didn't do a whole heck of a lot, but we did actually end up making this fireplace. I did do something else. I can't quite remember off the top of my head. I'll have to double-check that, but in this episode, well... I have a little bit of a task I am. There's actually an event going on, a community event that is happening. The treasure hunt. Some of the other members of the SMP have already done their treasure hunt. And they did say that it's better for a video and not a live stream. So I guess I'm not going to complain there. But before I do that, I do have a few things that I want to go ahead and and get done the first thing well this isn't something i want to get done but rather i want to show you guys i've been working to get myself a bunch of music discs and i'm missing three out of the 12 because i did show off last time i have started a um a music disc farm and so it's not exactly efficient, I will say that, but it gets the job done. The only thing is I actually have to actively get creepers caught inside of a boat with a skeleton in order for the skeleton to kill it, which I actually, at the end of the last episode, now that I remember what else I did, I did make these poison-tipped arrows, and it turns out that these actually get creepers down to 1 HP to the point where the skeleton will actually kill them in one shot, which is... Really nice, all things considered, I'm not going to lie. But yeah, so I actually do need to go to spawn. But before I do, I have a few things I need to get done. I want to go ahead and brew myself a few potions, which I actually did manage to get myself a guest tier in between episodes. I went to the nether just to test my nether portal. I haven't actually linked it up just yet. And some of the other members were actually on the room at the time. They had managed to kill Gaster, but they did not pick up. They told me I was more than welcome to have it. So I'm definitely going to end up making myself some um, potions of regen. It's definitely going to be super helpful. Technically, I can only really make three, but that's beside the point. And I also am going to want to go ahead and get myself a at least an iron picket, which I didn't even realize this this bad. Option. Actually, you know what? I can combine these two and not really waste a whole heck of a lot yeah so i'm gonna get prepared for this treasure hunt and in the meantime i have a video clip that i want to show you guys from a little bit earlier in the week that i did with septic spud so while i'm preparing like i said i'm gonna go ahead and show you guys that clip so yeah sub zero hey septic how you doing uh, pretty good. What about yourself, man? I, I'm yourself? doing fairly good. I'm doing fairly good. Okay, so good, good. I actually heard recently that your Riptide Trine actually ended up breaking. So I thought I could help yeah, you out yeah. with that a little bit. So in between my previous set of episodes, I actually did a ton of manual drown farming. I can tell you it took an incredibly long time. So I figured I'd help you out. These are not enchanted, by the way, but they are fully repaired, and there's two of them right there, as you can tell. Well, thank you. And I thought perhaps in exchange, we could work something out, maybe. And I am negotiable if you are have uh, any disagreements on that. Maybe, okay, we're maybe we're a... We're looking for. Okay, so maybe I'm thinking that iron farm that you've been working on, I'm thinking maybe to potentially, just for this moment, I may... Um, Think of something if I have something else for you. Um, maybe for those two tridents, a stack of iron ingots from that farm. Is that okay? Uh, yeah. Let's head over there. Yeah, but, um, yeah, uh, my boat's over there. I can't really... I don't have depth strider on, so that's why I'm using boats, obviously. I, d I don't either, but, you know, we're just, you know... I mean, yeah. Uh, I, I've, I've still yet to actually, um... Get proper diamond armor, which I do actually 
have. I just haven't enchanted yet. I'm waiting until I get decent enchantments before I start wearing it. I think that makes some amount of sense. I, I have I have armor, but I'm waiting to get mending and I'm breaking three on them. Yeah, that makes sense. I, I'm not going to deny that. By the I way, I'm right here if you want to jump in. Hey, there we go. go. By the way, how so well... I know you've been doing quite a bit of AFK here, and I know it's not 100% working, but besides all that, how has it been doing? Uh, pretty good. Pretty good. That's, that's nice to hear. That's really good to hear. Yeah. Whoa. Yeah. There you go. All right. Unfortunately, again, these two on the left... See, there's an iron golem that just spawned. Yeah, I see him. I see him. I could technically... So I could if I really wanted to. I do have my... Poison tip. Oh, well, thank you. I could take me uh if I really wanted to I could help kill him a little bit faster with poison tipped arrows It's actually been working rather well with the um work in progress um music disc from that I'm currently working on Yeah, if you come down here real fast. Oh, oh yeah, 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 okay. I can definitely do that right. Oh, I'm also noticing that um Fish are spawning yeah, in there. I can't say I'm surprised But if you check this chest, okay Oh, wow. You are definitely yeah. doing good here. Yeah, and, and that's double. That's okay, double. I don't want to drown. That. That's double. There we go. <laughs> yeah, that's double? Yeah, because we have a second iron farm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's right. Again, these... It would be quadrupled, but these two messed up the actual farm, so you can't actually... And you're not 100% sure exactly what the cause is. It's just villagers, villages, how how they uh, combine and all that depends on how close they are, and I messed up on the numbers, and yeah, it's like, yeah. oh well. I personally don't really know a whole heck of a lot as far as villager farms are concerned, then again, I haven't really experimented with them a whole heck of a lot, but at least you got half of them working, so that's at least a decent amount of iron. Yeah, I think I'll just leave, I'll leave both of them just for aesthetics. Right, I get that. Actual being technical and actually working, I'll just leave them as aesthetic. All right. So. Yeah, doing pretty good so far. I'm not gonna lie. But anyway, hopefully you um appreciate those trains and hopefully you get the proper enchantments for them. Yeah, hopefully. Hey, okay, you want me uh? Um, yeah, thank you, man. You want me to boat you back to your place, or do you think you're good? Let's go. All right. See you later then. All right. Bye. Okay, so I am arriving up to spawn, and I actually have not been here in quite some time, all things considered. So, we're going to see what's going on here. So, we're definitely seeing some use of banners. By the way, um, I do want to mention Philo Crafter, as far as this server is concerned, is technically in creative mode. Yes, it is cheating, but he's the uh, event manager, so it's kind of okay i would like to believe some people will disagree but that's beside the point all right so if we go inside of this book so it looks like we got ourselves the information so all right so hope you don't get killed um okay so so press the button you'll be given a random treasure map and you have to follow the coordinates for further instructions okay i realize i did not read the entire thing on camera but i get the point okay so we got ourselves a map and i'm not entirely sure where i need to go okay so it looks like i'm on top right corner hold on if i go ahead and open this up okay so obviously i'm gonna have to go southwest if i am assuming this correctly all right so i'm trying to see if i can figure out if I know exactly where this is according to my map, it looks like I might because I think, hold on, let me go ahead and switch these two maps around. Hold on, it says in the on the map, 345, 48, 567. Okay, for those of you who don't know my channel, um, I do have a dry erase board above my desk. I realize with the face cam, you don't see me very well, but being able to write these kind of things down is always helpful. 567. All right, so I have these coordinates written down, so I know exactly where I need to go. Now, whether or not the actual 
Map is helpful is a whole nother story. So, let's go ahead and make our way over. Since it is obviously in the ocean. Actually, is it in the ocean? That's actually a really good question. I want to assume it is, but I don't know for sure. Okay, so I found the coordinates, and it turns out that it's actually under the ocean, which isn't really too big of a surprise considering the Y value. So I'm deciding to make my way home really quick so I can make myself some extra potions, some water breathing, and some night vision to help me underwater because I think that's the smart idea. I have been doing this quite a bit recently, so... It's not really too hard to do, and I'm freaking. Oh yeah, I need puffer fish. I'm obviously gonna need more bottles. I'm going to need golden carrot and redstone to extend the length. This should hopefully not take too terribly long to make. Obviously, you guys watching, it's gonna be like near instantaneous. Obviously, but. Hold on, before I actually make these, do I have any spares? Because I was using them. Okay, so I have fire resistance. No, I do not. Okay, so that's good to know. All right. So I guess I don't really have much of a choice but to make, although mainly I could you do it without these, I'm not gonna lie. But since I have the materials, it's not that hard to do. Okay, so we should be incredibly close to our destination so let's go ahead and drink these up and let's see what can we find so obviously it's gonna be down at the bottom so we need to go to uh, 67 which is this direction so I can get my wardens correct okay so that sh should be right here which means Okay, so I need to go in this direction now to 345. Ow! Seriously? You're lucky I don't have my trying with me because I'm trying to repair it at the moment. At least this is working. Alright, so let's see. One thing I definitely am going to do before I go down here. Actually, it doesn't matter because I stopped crouching in water anyway. But yeah, let's see what we got. Okay, so we've got ourselves... Come, it's safe. And another potion of night vision, so that's helpful. Alright. Alright, so what I'm gonna do... I'm gonna go back to my boat, where it's... Hopefully gonna be a little bit more safe. If I can find out where I actually parked my boat. Yeah, so, yeah. Not too far from my house, as you can obviously tell. My manor, technically. But that's beside the point. Okay, so let's get in my boat. I am technically susceptible to... Drowns, if I'm not careful. But let's see what we got. Okay. Okay, so Atlantis, I live in the village where riches are real, real and bad people always roam this vast world. Okay, so it looks like this is seven pages long. I apologize, I'm not going to read all this on camera, but the very least, I will read this later off camera. So if you guys actually want me to read this on camera in the next episode, potentially, even though I will already hopefully found the treasure... Then you guys can go ahead and tell me down in the comments. But okay, so let's see. Okay, so it looks like negative 12, 20, 62, negative 250. Okay, so that's good to know. So I can go ahead and write this down. So negative 12, 20, 62, and negative 250. And I already know for a fact that this is going to be. A long ways out. I know that. So this is gonna be a real trip. So it looks like, yeah, I do have to go. Okay, so I do have to go in this direction, obviously. But I also have to go. Uh, hold on, north a bit. Yeah, I need to go north quite a bit. Okay, so this may not be the smartest of choices. But, what I'm going to do, since I'm obviously, oh, whoa, hold on, hold on. I didn't even notice that. I'm going in the entirely wrong direction. How did I not realize that? All right, so I'm going to go about as far east as I can. Is it west or east that I'm going? 
how on earth can I not remember that if I've been playing this game for I don't know how long. But yeah, I'm gonna go this direction for about as far as I possibly can go in my boat. Because obviously I am in the water. And I'll see you guys once I do in fact get to the treasure. We'll see what actually is going on. I have seen a couple of other people's videos on the realm regarding this whole treasure hunt thing. And I know for a fact, first off, there's going to be mobs that I'm going to have to take care of. So I want to think I'm prepared for that. Which... I realize this tech me cheating watching other people's videos regarding the challenge that again it's random which challenge people are gonna get. But it also gives me a chance to know what to do to get prepared. Which I wanna believe is the smart way to go about doing things. That's just what I'm trying to go off of. I may be completely wrong because well, like I said, I could potentially be not exactly doing things correctly. There's a shipwreck right here too. Um, I don't actually know if this is part of the challenge, so I'm going to check it really quick off camera, and if it's not part of it, then I will go ahead and show you guys what it is, and if it is part of the challenge, then I'm going to edit it out just in case, well, you guys don't, um, on the realm don't need to see it because well again it's cheating. Actually never mind, I just realized there doesn't seem to be any chest unless there's a chest up top or there is a chest and someone already took it. I don't actually know for sure, but yeah. Nothing here. This actually is pretty cool, I'm not gonna lie. Anything below deck? I don't think so. No, it doesn't look like... Okay, so the answer to that question, there's no chest, so it's not actually part of the challenge, the uh, treasure hunt challenge. So, yeah, I'll go ahead and continue on with... Hold on, do I see another shipwreck all the way over there? I'm going to look at that as well since I'm here. And again, if it's not part of the challenge, well, you guys are not going to end up seeing it. Okay, so it appears this is not part of the challenge for the actual treasure hunt, so there is some decent stuff in here. I am going to take, at the very least, the gunpowder and the coal. Okay, so anyone watching this video on the realm, you can obviously see my coordinates if you want... The rest of the stuff in this chest, you are more than welcome to it. I have no need for it. So, yeah, just thought I'd actually help you guys out. So, yeah, let's go ahead and, yeah, I got distracted by shipwrecks, obviously. So, let's go ahead and continue on with this challenge. Mainly my uh, inventory is getting a bit full, I'm not going to lie. Found a couple of interesting things. I didn't actually need to uh, drink any potions, all things, since I still have the potions I had originally. As well as the extra potion from the uh, over the uh, ruin earlier, so yeah, not too bad. Okay, so I am pretty much where I need to be, and this is actually kind of cool things considered because it's another brand new coral reef biome, which is kind of cool. I didn't think that was at the only coral reef biome on the realm. Because obviously there's multiple of these that end up spawning in the world. I'm not going to deny that. Okay, so let's go ahead and open up the book a second time. It said something about like in a 500 block radius. Okay. So that's going to make some things a bit more challenging. Does it mean... Okay, so it did say the title of Atlantis. So here's my question. Is, hold on. I see something odd right here. 
I don't know if this is actually part of it or not. But I only this is kind of you know hold on. This is potentially where it starts. I don't actually know. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. I am not ready for whatever this is. I have... No whoa, whoa, whoa. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I found it. I found... I knew it wasn't too far off when I saw whatever that structure was. I knew that for... Are they... I don't know if they're coming for me or not. All right. Okay, so let's go ahead and try to be safe about this. Okay, so it's obviously underwater because obviously it's in Lannis. And I drink your wrong pot. Oh, you're coming at me. You're coming at me. I can't say I'm surprised. Does this hurt you? I'm hoping this hurts you. Yes, it hurts you. And you're also taking damage from the poison. Sweet, sweet, sweet. All right. All right. So I found what I was looking for. That's good. But obviously with those, I think those are vexes if I'm not mistaken. They're definitely going to be a pain in the butt. I did end up drinking the wrong potion. I know that for a fact. All right. Water breathing. There we go. Okay, there we go. I didn't even realize that's why I had in my inventory was the... um. Night vision. I wasn't paying close attention then again. All right. So where was it? It's over here. Okay, good. This is perfect because, well, my base is technically a quack. Not that it makes a whole heck of a lot of difference. Some of these blocks are not waterlogged, which is... it. Oh, ooh, guardians. Guardians. Okay. I was not... Whoa. Oh, and you guys are coming too. Okay, Wow. I was not expecting those guys to be coming underwater, to be completely honest. Okay. I have to be fast about this if my inventory will actually work correctly. There we go. There we go. All right. So if I can go ahead and take these guys out. I don't know. I did not expect Guardians, to be completely honest. Okay, so... All right, it kills you, and now I'm thinking about it, this could potentially mean I can get some decent aquatic stuff. All right, so let's see. What's inside of here? Oh, wow. Wow. Okay, I am happy about this. We got ourselves a mending book. Yes, I've been needing one of those. All right. Okay, good, 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 good. That's awesome. That is 100% awesome. Okay. So let's go ahead and get what I can. Obviously, okay. I'm going to leave the place the way it is. Simply because I don't know if it's going to be needed anymore. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Why am I... Okay, there we go. There we go. Not sure why I'm lagging. All right, so that's not battle thing considered. There is a block of emerald here too, so those poison arrows that I have definitely helped. Admittedly, they're not perfect for underwater, and I probably should have a trident for that. But at the very least, it ended up working. I'm not gonna deny that. Okay, so here's my question: since I'm still under here, and I do have to watch out for those vexes as well. Is that it, or is there more? Because I actually do not know legitimately. Looking around, I don't see any more. I mean, they could swim a lot faster. That would help, but I didn't. Um, does not look like there's any more to But the fact that we have Prismarine is awesome. Okay. There's something over here. Nothing. Can't say I'm surprised. Okay. okay. So as I was saying, the fact that we have Prismarine now is awesome. For a couple of reasons. One, it's a really nice block palette. And two, I actually have the materials at home to make myself a condo. I expected you to come by. Okay, that killed you. I don't know if those guys actually drop anything or not. And if they do, obviously, 
it would end up um, flowing to the top. I knew to watch out for those guys. I'm not going to deny that. Let's not battle things. Now, where's my boat? It's a good question. I did have to obviously abandon my boat because those guys were causing problems for me. Okay, there's my boat. Okay, so let's go ahead and make my way home. This is obviously a dangerous situation. Am I in my boat now? Yes. Okay, I was wondering. Okay, so... Some pretty good stuff. I am not gonna lie about that. That is... Awesome. Prismarine. Okay. So. Because I got Prismarine. I have one more task that I actually want to do. Well, technically I have two other tasks that I want to do. Because I do want to put mending on one of my items. But here's the question. What do I want to put mending on? I have two options for mending. I could put on my... Uh, Loyalty Trident, which would mean that I could repair it, but I could also put it on a shield, which I'm running through shields like crazy. But I do have the materials to craft more. So, okay. Here's what I'm thinking. Mending on my Trident, so that I don't have to constantly repair it, and I don't have to enchant a new one, which that's obviously what um, uh, Septic had to do. And then try to go fishing for a um, a mending book for my shield. I think that's probably the best course of action. Anyway, on my way home, obviously going to take a long time. I have to go over a thousand blocks just to get home. But we got awesome loot. I am not going to even complain about that. Okay, so this is definitely interesting. I did just deal with Guardians. And on my way back home, I found this ocean monument. I think, if I remember correctly, this one is actually claimed by MCP Matt, if I'm not mistaken. No, this is claimed by... Wait a minute. Is it claimed by Blue Venom? Or did Blue Venom just put his sign there? Because I do remember... Okay. Septic Spud found a a uh, ocean monument. I might have been with him if I remember correctly. Matt found one, and then a, I don't know if that's Matt's or Blue Venom found a completely different one. Not that it really matters. I know everyone else probably cares, but I've actually got Prismarine now because of the um, stuff I found. So as cool as it would be. To have a guardian farm, which is obviously going to be cool regardless. Don't need that anymore at the moment. I just realized I'm going completely in the wrong direction from where I need to go. I got distracted from that. Okay, so about 600 more blocks at least. So not too bad. Okay, so here we go. We've got ourselves to really make myself a conduit. This was not in the actual um, chest. The Shulker box itself, but I did find a treasure map a while ago when I did some hunting, and I do actually have an extra treasure map that obviously I got a little bit earlier. But now, okay, hey, hold on, hold on, I just realized I'm obviously gonna need the prismarine that I got from this chest in order to build this and obviously I'm also going to end up needing to get my potions in order which I actually hadn't realized this when I looked inside the chest apparently they gave me water breathing and night vision as well so I'm going to save those for a later time so the fact that we have that is awesome I'm not going to lie about that All right, so let's go ahead and get things prepared All right. And you know what? I should probably go to sleep. I know it's going to be turning night time pretty soon. Yeah, freaking conduit now. Which is awesome. I'm not going to lie. Okay, can't sleep just yet. Okay, fair enough. All right, you know what? Since I'm up here, I don't actually have it in my... Oh, there we go. Now it's night time. Oh, someone's... Who's sleeping? It didn't say. 
Okay, that was weird. I'm not gonna lie about that. Alright. So. Let's go ahead and get this built. Let's go ahead and drink up our potions. And now we can go ahead and set up our counter. This is awesome. I'm not gonna lie about that. Alright. So I think what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna place it like right here potentially yeah this should be perfectly fine so obviously i do have to spend quite a bit of time trying to break this i think i get underwater haste once i actually get this up and working if i'm not mistaken so if i place this there can i not place that there do i have a place on top of a block i don't actually remember maybe i do not that it really matters. At the very least, I got a very nice item. Alright, so let's go ahead and grab that. I am obviously going to need to place a block here. I don't know why I didn't bother to grab dirt, because that would obviously be the easier block to use for this. I don't actually have anything underwater related as far as enchantments are concerned either very least we got ourselves an awesome item which is great i'm not gonna lie about like i know i've been saying that over and over again I'm, i realize it's probably getting annoying but this is definitely gonna come in handy i think pretty much anyone who has a conduit will agree with that and I'm just going to let it be exposed. I'm not going to completely encase it like some people do. But I do want to at least get the maximum effect. And oh! Okay, so it's already going. Nice. And I could potentially have a second conduit if I can follow this other treasure map that I got. And from there... Expand territory of my conduit. Got too much issue. Come on, can I? There we go. This freaking kelp is in the way of me placing this down. It's definitely not helpful. We have conduit power, so. Oh, okay, there we go. Underwater haste. I figured that was one of the things that was going to end up giving me. Let's go ahead and break the kelp since I'm not going to need it while I'm placing this down. Alright, so this is great. I don't really necessarily need water breathing in my area anymore. This is great. And yeah, I may potentially off camera if I can do the... Actually, you know what? I'll save the other treasure map for the next episode. Yeah, that's what I'm going to go ahead and do. And so, yeah, awesome. Caught it right at my base, so not too bad. I don't know if this is actually going to end up killing the drowns, though. I hope it does. Because if it does, it obviously means I'm going to have a lot less trouble with drowns. But yeah, this is really cool. I'm not going to lie. All right. Final thing for the episode is to go ahead and get this mending okay hold on you taking damage already he did die already okay can't seem surprised all right so at least it's working Megan it gave me kind of power so there's that all right last thing on my agenda for this episode so where okay so it's right here okay I can put mending on this now, which is great. Definitely gonna come in handy. All right, so I'm gonna have to work on getting mending some other way. Hopefully I can actually put this on because I did have to do a ton of repair work. 33 levels, okay. So I am gonna have to do a bit of level grinding in order to have that happen. But other way, 
That was not too bad, all things considered. I'm not gonna lie. But other than that, this is actually where I'm gonna go ahead and end off the video. So hopefully you guys have enjoyed. If you did, make sure that like button. Or more than make sure that subscribe button for future content. Also, you can follow me on Twitter at agentcp 0 to stay updated. This has been Zero Suze. Thank you guys for watching. And with that, I'll see you guys later. Oh!